Have you ever wondered what it takes to get a 9 in GCC English Literature? If so, then you're in the right place because today I'll be sharing with you all top 10 advanced tips on how to get a 9 on GCC English Literature and how to get your best and be very satisfied with it. So if you're interested to find out the 10 tips, then please keep watching this video till the end. So these top tips have been gathered based on three areas. Number one is based on my own personal experience and mistakes that I have made in my own GCC years. Number two is based on teachers of my own, my sister's school because she also does GCC so I've asked her teachers on what it actually takes to get a 9 in GCC English Literature and number three is of course based on research tips or online tips or whatever I found on the on, on the internet in terms of tips so you want to stay tuned till the end to find out all of the 10 tips that I found for you all in this video. Before I move on to the advanced tips, I want to make sure that you're covering these four basic tips already. First one is making sure that you're looking at the mark scheme, the examiner's reports, as well as the teacher's comments as well, to make sure that you're improving your answer every single time you're writing one. You're making sure they're looking at the examiner's reports to make sure that you know exactly what it, what it looks like to write a nine grade answer. And as well as you're making sure that you're looking at the mark scheme to make sure that you know what points actually give you the marks. So these three resources are exactly very, very important for you. You to really get that nine. Second of all is making sure that you're practicing as many past papers as possible because there's no really point you're looking at the resources without actually practicing and applying your knowledge. So you want to practice as many past papers as possible. Number three is making sure that you're looking at the online resources available to you for free or even paid. For example, you want to look at YouTube videos or summary sheets or any kind of resources that actually provide your knowledge based on the, on the novels or the books that you might be reading or poems if you're doing them. So you want to make sure that you are looking at these free resources or even online courses where they teach you the English literature in a very wide space and a wide range as well. And number four is making sure that you're sending as much as work as possible to the teachers to show that how serious you are to get a nine and how much you're pushing yourself hard to make sure you can get that nine as well and you go beyond the predicted grade even. So if you know if your predicted grade is an eight, there's no harm you getting a nine at the end of it. So you want to make sure that you're showing and you're following these four basic tips as soon as possible. So now I'm going to be moving on to the six advanced tips. So the first one is making sure you're always pre-planning your model answers or pre-planning any kind of questions that might be possibly coming up in the exam and you're making a model answers for them. This could be for Inspector Calls, Romeo and Juliet or Christmas Carol or any other kind of books and novels that you might be reading. You want to make sure that all kinds of essay questions that actually do come up in the exam, you're making a pre-planned model answer and you can also show this to your own teachers to make sure that you're on the right track and they can give you also feedback as well so you don't have to necessarily always show a full answer but you can always show these kind of model answers and they can give you feedback as well possibly because at the end of the day they are the ones who are going to be marking your answers as well so you want to make sure that you're following this tip very very thoroughly and making full advantage of it so tip number two is making sure they're memorizing very important quotes from these texts or books or novels that you might be actually reading to for your exam so you want to make sure that you are making quizlet flashcards or you're making your own handy own customized flashcards cards or you're using any kind of Anki flashcards or anything like that or any kind of resource to make sure they are memorizing as many good quotes and very important quotes as much as possible so that in the exam whenever you're writing the answers to support your points you know exactly which quote you want to write and it will come very naturally to you as opposed to very um, it will take time or anything like that you might have to look for it and I, I believe that they don't give you text anymore as part of the exam so you're not going to have the book with you so you want to make sure that you are memorizing those important quotes and important phrases where the characters might be telling something very important and might be related to your point. So that will be my second tip. So tip number three is making sure that you're knowing your text inside out and you want to basically do this very very thoroughly as well because this tip is going to be very very important to you in terms of how to answer the questions in the exam because you want to know the text inside out and if you don't know then you're going to be very foggy in answering your questions and obviously that won't give you the nine that you want. So you want to make sure that you're watching the movie probably or using spark notes as a way to summarize and get a basic concept or b basic outlet of the text or the novel or the book that you might be reading so you want to make sure that you're using these free resources out there to make sure that you know that you understand the text very very well and you get into the character almost of those textbooks and everything of, the, of those books and stuff so make sure that you're using your free resources as well as possible and you will eventually get that nine as well 
Tip number four is making sure that you're writing always or asking yourself always when you're writing something why and how. In that way, you'll know exactly what you're writing. In that way, you'll know also why it is relevant to your question. Is it relevant to your question or not? And how as well? And how are going to be backed up by any kind of evidence or phrases or quotes from the text as well? So always asking why and how every time you write a point is very important in an English literature essay. I would also suggest for you to write context as well or how those points that you're writing when we might be relevant to how the play was in the time when the writer was writing this text or novel or the author was writing the book itself. So you want to make sure that you're relating your points also back to the time when the author was actually writing the book. So that gives also like kind of like a context and that gives you more high level marks as well because not everybody will be thinking that way. So always make sure that you're writing the why and how as to why you actually find this point really relevant and what is the evidence for you to support yourself and also write about the context in terms of when the author might have actually written the novel and how it relates to and how the point relates to that. Tip number five is making sure that every time you're writing a point in your essay it's always relevant and linking back to the question that has been asked. So if the question is asking you about Romeo's feelings make sure they are only talking about Romeo's feelings and nothing else because that can make you divert away from the actual question and you might start be describing yourself too much much and you might be not answering the question and that can be a really big problematic thing because then you might be losing marks because the question is something and you're writing something completely different from it so you want to make sure that you are aligning yourself with the question and linking back to the question every single time you are finishing a paragraph or a point so that you know exactly yourself what you're writing and that can be also helpful for the teacher as well because to show that you are understanding what the question is and you're answering it accordingly. Tip number six is making sure that you are focusing on SPAG also known as SPAG spelling, punctuation and grammar because if these three things are not flawless in your text or in your essay then nothing will be and no matter how good your points are, no matter how evidence based your points are or even, even if you linked back to the context as I mentioned before, if your spelling, grammar and punctuation is not on point and is not flawless then it's very hard for you to get a 9 because usually a grade 9 answer is flawless in terms of spelling, punctuation and grammar which are very very important and these are also basic skills that every single English literature student or even language should be implementing in the daily life and this comes of course with practice so you want to make sure that you're practicing as many past papers as possible to become a master of SPAG. This brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed this video and found this video really helpful in terms of how to get a 9 in English literature. If you're interested to look out for all the videos that I might be making for GCC, then the link is here or the card is here for you to really check out all those videos on based on GCCs and how to get a 9 in all GCCs that you might be doing right now and they're very, very hard, I know, but I'm here to help you very, very much so. And if you're interested and you want to stay tuned and notify all the kind of videos that I make based on GCC, then please do subscribe to this channel because I post on a weekly basis but other than that I will see you in my next week's video